I have to give a little more gas here. I'm basically almost floor to the floor here. Uh, it's got decent power, but yeah, nothing crazy. I mean. Good morning everybody welcome back to peter's auto vlog in today's video we're going to get behind the wheel of this 2022 ford escape titanium hybrid i'm going to give a first uh, big shout out guys to barto ford uh, for allowing me some time with this escape hybrid, hybrid. Now, i'm very excited because it's going to be my first time getting behind the wheel of any type of escape hybrid i have driven of course you know the 1.5 liter engine the 2 liter engine but this is the first time i'm going to be behind the wheel of this 2.5 liter atkinson cycle with the electric motor uh, in this escape hybrid now this one here that we have with us guys is the escape plug-in hybrid which is means you can plug it in it's got about a 14.4 kilowatt battery that gives you about 37 miles of range of pure electric now of course you get also the regular hybrid which kind of gives you a little bit of uh, electric range but really not much that's concerning that this has a bigger battery now this one that we have with us here guys is uh, in a rapid red which is a really nice color really love this rapid red color now this is a front wheel drive model which is the only way you can get the plug-in hybrid of 434 does not offer the plug-in hybrid in all-wheel drive i believe the the regular hybrid one you might be able to no, don't, don't quote me on that i'll put that information guys up on the screen but of course this plug-in hybrid is not available unfortunately in all wheel drive just front wheel drive now of course this one here guys is a titanium model which is a top of line model here this one this is basically your 18 inch wheels that come standard with the titanium um, model these are 18 inch wheels really nice aluminum wheels uh with some black interior accents these are wrapped around 225 millimeter michelin primacy tires all season so as you can see it's really nice i love this rapid red it's got a bit of aluminum trim here as you can see all over the side a little nice more uh, plastic trim here on the bottom that this one is equipped with some mud flaps which is kind of interesting option here in florida but a uh, really nice and this one also has the uh panoramic sunroof and as you can see part of the roof also is painted in black they're kind of not too much the sunroof as well which is really nice got a black antenna there but the rest of it here is all in, in body color as you can see got that wrapper it's really nice so coming here to the back guys you can see really nice LED tail lights here in the back the titanium badge there as well the escape really nice i mean i really love the way has ford has done it. i kind of like this one here now, considering that if you guys seen my video, I have done a little quick video of the 2023 Escape, which has changed basically in the front, a little bit on the back, not much, but basically the biggest interior, biggest changes for the 23 uh, for the Escape is the front design and of course the interior with the bigger screens and everything else. Now, as you can see, guys, this one here, this plug-in hybrid is equipped with the Class 2 trailer tow package. Unfortunately, you can only tow about 1,500 pounds with this uh, SUV, so obviously this Escape doesn't have a lot of tow, low towing so capability. Not much, obviously, the, the biggest, as, as I mentioned, the biggest change is going to be for the new 20. 23 model but this 2022 still looks really nice still a good looking SUV uh, considering that we have the titanium model of course we got LED headlights we do have LED daytime running lights here along with the turn signals that are also LED and we do have some LED fog that's here on the bottom as well so as you can see guys the, the grill is really nice this is specific to the titanium model really nice nice kind of lines chrome grill which is really really nice you can see guys some sensors here on the front and we get a little bit of aluminum here on the bottom there as well which is really really nice design to this uh, Ford Escape I mean not more than a regular one but it's you know it's still a pretty nice looking uh, yeah, SUV. Back. Quick little note that you know actually a lot of people might know but Ford actually offered the first hybrid SUV ever but now this is back to the first generation Escape. This is back in 2005 when Ford actually was offering a hybrid Escape so it was probably the first manufacturer ever to offer a hybrid Escape and this is back in 2005 so it's quite a while even before what people knew what hybrid was. So, probably. Obviously so. guys here we have the key with us here as you can see we got 
that open close we got basically a remote start which is interesting because obviously you're going to just get the engine going this one doesn't start the engines as being electric it'll probably just be ready to go and we have your double click to open up your rear hatch so you guys over here checking out the hatch so it's really nice as really nice uh size you get about 34.4 cubic inch of in interior space obviously i'm used to the ford escape which is basically the same size it's got perfect sizing fits plenty of luggage if you're traveling for a couple or three you know three adults something like that it's really good space as you can see these seats do fall down like a 60 40 uh which is really nice interesting thing about this one it does we do have a spare tire in it here considering this is a plug-in hybrid or a hybrid model usually most hybrid models do not have a, a spare tire this one does have it. It, it it is an option though but you can get a spare tire on this ford escape plug-in hybrids or the hybrids ones which is interesting now this one here is included with an optional shade here and of course here we have your connection for the plug it to plug it into your wall so you can plug in your socket and put charger battery on the side as well since this is a plug-in hybrid now as you can see guys of course we mentioned here we have tow hook here as you can see guys 1500 pounds of towing capacity double uh, exhaust here which is really nice and we have a little bit of aluminum here on the bottom but a really nice having plenty of space here in the back now, as you can see guys here we do have a 12 volt connection here we have a little more space as you can see in the bottom there we do have a little speaker here because it's got a probably a subwoofer here for the 10 speaker system that this titanium has see. so just go ahead and bring the but you can bring it down with the foot here you can do this because obviously we got the the, the the basically your your tow hitch there but you have to do either with a key or just press down the button and your hatch goes down as you can see guys we had a reverse camera led lighting there all and right let's go ahead and check out the power plant of this ford escape let's go ahead and give it a little couple of tucks there on the hood latch and check it out all right let's go ahead and bring the hood up obviously we got no hydraulic assistance we have to get a little bit of our little stick here and put it right here where that's indicated all right so here we have the 2.5 liter atkinson cycle normally aspirated in line four now this is of course connected to the electric motor now in combined power this has got 221 horsepower 155 pound feet of torque that's going to the cvt transmission that this has an electronic cvt and of course this one has a plug-in hybrid guys which means it's got a little bigger battery 14.4 kilowatt battery that if you go guys so here on the side we have your door here to connect or plug in your battery to get it charged obviously this one here you got your charger here you plug it in here and of course you got either a 240 volt connection or a 110 depending on where you want to connect it here really nice that this is located right here on the front so you're looking at about three and a half hours if you plug in from you know pretty much a dead battery all the way onto a fully charged battery if you plug it into a 240 volt connection a 110 will be probably roughly around 12 i'll put the 12 to 13 hours i'll put those all those numbers up for you guys it's up there in this well well so you can go up to about 37 miles of uh, just completely electric range which is pretty cool i mean see in the city you can definitely you know have plenty of uh in like electricity to go a few miles as well so uh, but the average uh, fuel economy for this one is about 44 high 44 city 37 highway of course if you combine all the electric and the gas power the, the combination you have that's what your basically your fuel range is but you can definitely do if you're just doing in city 37 miles it's pretty pretty much for everybody if you want to be in town and travel maybe 10 miles a day 12 miles a day to work you probably wouldn't even turn on the uh, the engine at all escape so let's so go ahead guys and put the little hurt that round the rod down and oops there all right let's go ahead and check out the sticker of this ford escape 2022 ford escape uh plug-in hybrid obviously titanium model now this one started at just over forty thousand seven hundred dollars for this titanium plug-in model now as you can see guys uh starting with the options of course we got uh rapid red which is 495 dollars we got basically hands-free feature delete 55 we got panoramic thermal for just under sixteen hundred dollars uh access cargo shade 135 which is sitting in the back of the mini spare tire is 110 dollars so 110 dollars for that spare tire that you have a class 2 trailer package which is 495 dollars 2075 dollars for the titanium premium package and of course we got 210 dollars for the splash cards and the removal of the wi-fi for a grand total of oh actually we got wheel locking nuts uh wheel locking nuts as well for 75 so for a grand total of 47,310 dollars for this ford escape obviously not a cheap escape Quite a bit of options but it is quite nice obviously got a lot, a lot of features and it is a very efficient fuel efficient uh, right, suv let's go ahead guys and check out the interior of this titanium escape now this one here guys has the ebony sandstone leather interior which is really nice basically a two-tone leather interior here we have 
basically the beige inside the sandstone here and the black leather all surrounding here which is really nice you know perforated seats here as you can see we do have basically a center armrest if i can get that down here guys there we go as you can see really nice now these seats uh, do a justice quite guys and jump in to see, check uh, out this seat here i'm about 5'11 and the seat still got about quite an inch or so of, of room this is set like a little bit further back now of course you can, these seats are reclinable as well as you can see guys they recline up or down so this is really nice and comfortable you got a seat pocket here not for the driver's side uh but the leather fits really really nice all we have here guys is just a couple of usb connections and ac outlets and that's about it right, for this guys and get to the driver's side of this titanium escape obviously guys here coming to the front we got a little soft leather here a little bit of uh there's a bit of softer materials in the back for sure we got aluminum trim of course we got some of the fox wood here it's like a beige wood which is not bad at all considering what you know this this model is and we got the controls for your windows and mirrors and we got it, uh, also basically three memory seatings for your 10-way power seats here in the front there are six-way powers for the driver's side uh, which is really nice obviously we got that two-tone leather here the sandstone and the black ebony leather which is really nice i got a little nice stitch in there as well going and the seats are pretty comfortable and supportive of course they're also perforated as well we do have leather on the steering wheel as you can see a little bit of aluminum trim here controls here this basically uh controls here we do have basically it's kind of interesting we do have a button to open up basically your gas gas cap which is kind of interesting obviously the one in my this is nice because obviously this is probably lockable the one in my escape the former generation does not have that and it's kind of open up so it's kind of nice they included that that you can lock up your gas cap especially for all the stuff that's going on today so here we guys control for your hatch lights all that kind of stuff here guys since you can see but uh let's go ahead guys and uh hey jump guys, inside just, uh, press the start the button here to start it obviously you know, this is gonna start it this is not they're just not gonna start at all this is basically just gonna uh basically just be ready to go uh let's drop down the volume here a little bit here so we got basically a 12.3 inch screen here for digital screen here for all your instrumentation we got the 8 inch screen here the ford sync 3 uh we got, of course control 3 ac we got dual zone ac here as you can see now checking out guys it's really nice the steering wheel feels really nice this is all leather covered steering wheel we got controls for your uh basically cruise control and the mirrors here and of course the center screen here as well to control all your modes and stuff uh we don't have any paddles or anything like that this, this is just a regular cvt transmission uh but it's really nice i mean the interior is really nice got some nice accents considering this is the titanium model around the uh oops, sorry there around the instrument cluster here as you can see uh but it's really nice really nice interior it's functional it's obviously the new 2023 for escapes got kind of the similar interiors lcd graphics just change a little bit as i saw and of course we're going to have the 13 inch screen on the new ford escape for 2023 of course that's going to give you a little that's going to be the bigger one i believe there's an inch as well that comes standard on other ones but the 13 inch will be an option but uh, we'll get, can't wait to get uh, behind the wheel of that new escape so that's the rest of you guys here of course coming up here we got the panoramic storm which is really nice we got basically controls here for uh basic home link here and the, the mirrors here as you can see guys filling your mirrors up here control your storm of options and we got controls here for your lights as you can see here so we got the lights going on there as well rear mirror here we do have a head-up display as well now this one is all ready to go obviously the engine's not on because obviously i can't rev the engine or show you anything like that because this is just ready to go on electric power uh but we do have a head-up display which is kind of the old school kind of way this thing kind of flips up and you can see a little bit i don't know if the camera will capture but you see a little reading there of zero miles per hour not a lot of information that it shows you but at least it gives you some sort of head-up display to help you have your eyes on the road so let's go ahead guys and close the road the, the door here and let's put on our seat now, belt of course, uh, this and this just to do a quick review of what this uh, Ford Titanium has of course we gave you 8 inch screen here for part of the Sync 3 system I uh, do have navigation as you can see uh, which is really nice we've got navigation even though it's a smaller screen still works pretty well you got different apps you can get different settings as well you got serious sun sunlight radio we got sound all the kind of things you can do uh this is up wi-fi as well now this one actually no this one this one the wi-fi was option off uh but you have basically you know android auto apple carplay and all that kind of stuff it's little things you can do now of course you do have audio now this one here is equipped with the 10 speaker magnet also system that's here Yeah, sounds pretty good. This Bang & All system sounds pretty good. A really nice system. That basically comes standard with this one here. Here, guys, we got knobs to change your station, which is really cool, really nice. Obviously, you got AC outlets, your hazards. We got basically your dual zone AC. We do have heated seats as well for both front seats and a heated steering wheel. Two USB connections, 12 volts, and we do have a wireless charging pad. As you can see, my phone is charging right here. Basically, your dial here for your CVT transmission. We got your basically your parking presses button to park automatically park. We have basically this one here is your hold, auto hold. So basically, here you got your part, your basically your driving mode. Now we got normal, we got echo, we do have sport, and we just go ahead and hit that one. Sport, slippery, we have snow and assist, 
and normal. So we're gonna keep it on sport guys just to test it out. Uh, but the rest of the buttons guys here looks like this is some sort of also a parking assist. We got EV modes as well. Now obviously if we press this and you guys keep it normal operation, you have like no battery or you can definitely do different ways it is. Just basically right now it's just set on normal. Um, and then of course we got the parking sensors on and off. Here in the middle guys we have basically no connections that I see at all. There's basically some more storage space and that's about it for this Ford Escape so Titanium. Ahead, so and go out for a drive. Let's go ahead and turn on the AC because it is a little getting a little warmer. It's a little cooler here in Florida. Let's go ahead guys and put this on drive. Now I see the engine just turned off and we're on a normal mode. So it's weird right? we don't support but on normal. And uh let's go ahead guys now the engine turned back on there again. So usually we'll start I put it on a sport but um let's go ahead and actually you know what let's go ahead guys and stop and let's switch our modes no, they just searched off. Now let's go ahead, guys, and switch to normal. And since we're gonna be driving on just basically uh, electric power, so all right, let's let's go ahead, guys, and go. Now here, the battery, the motor is not on. So let's go ahead, guys, and do a quick U-turn here. Nobody coming here. So right now we're basically on full electric. Now there's not much juice on this at all, if any. So it's not probably gonna last that long, but it'll give you a little bit of mileage on just electric power, which is really nice. Obviously this is, you know, especially now this time it is where gasing, the gas has dropped a little bit, but gas is not as you know, it's not as cheap as it used to be. Obviously, thank God price has gone, gone down a little bit, but it's still over, you know, $3.50 or whatever it is right now uh, for premium or regular. So depending on what state you live in. So right now we are for electric. And it's very smooth. I mean, very smooth power. Obviously, it you know it's uh, you know quite differently when you put the power on this one's here. Let's go out this way, guys, and see how the sandals here. So now, if you initially tested, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of power, but the engine kicked on there. So this one doesn't seem to have a ton of like electric, you know, power. But uh, in terms of electric motor, but the torque. So you got 221 horsepower, and 155 pound feet of torque, which is not a lot, to be honest. But uh, you know that's. This still feels very smooth, and the, the engagement of the motor to the electro one it seems pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nice and smooth. We have some generative braking when you step on the brake or let go of the gas, so the uh, battery can charge also with the engine as well, not just the plug-in stuff. So uh, I don't know about this. Uh, you know, this obviously that's the head-up display here. It's kind of odd with the little thing. I don't know if we can even turn it off. But um, you might be able to with some sort of button, but it is on right now automatically. So I don't know if you can switch that off or not, guys. Uh, if you guys know, please let me know in the comments. Don't, <laughs> don't judge me. I don't, I don't know exactly. I didn't see a button for that exactly. So, so the brake feel feels pretty natural, obviously. And let's go ahead and uh, we're still in normal mode. Let's give it a little bit of gas here. Yeah, I'm not a fan of CVT transmission, but the power, I mean, I'm a bit pretty much flooring it, but it doesn't have a ton of power, but it does accelerate pretty nicely. I mean, nothing crazy, but yeah, it does seem to be not the fastest thing, you know, pretty pretty low in power uh, compared to some of the other ones, For especially the one, the RAV4 seems quite, much quicker than this. Um, so right now, obviously it went down now, of course it's generating, I don't know if we're in electric or not, I know the engine was on. So there's no tachometer or anything like that on the instrumentation here at all. Uh, so let's go ahead, guys, and uh, turn left here. But yeah, I mean, obviously, you can see here, your instrumentation tells you the power, the kilowatts. And of course, we got not much of a fuel, but obviously here you got uh, your, your basically digital speedometer. It says here, 90 percent engine return, which is pretty cool. So obviously, guys, this will generate as long as you're you know, driving. Of course, when you plug it in, of course, you're going to have the full power of that so right now we're on auto hold which i can take my my foot off the brake and obviously will hold us here now since you just press on the gas and we'll, we'll go so right now it's basically back on full electric now here so we give a little bit of that the engine comes on yeah there's not much battery power to it so oh, there's not much battery juice in it so it's pretty much empty so the engine's gonna come on and do some work here but that's real nice i mean the the the, the basically the the uh the switch from electric to, to the engine is very very smooth now in terms of the ride this is a very smooth riding uh you know the suspension is very smooth it does soak up the bumps really nice of course we got 18 inch wheels michelin primacy tire which uh really do a good job of uh, soaking up the bumps and it's very smooth i know road not really not not much of a road noise or and there's a little bit of a wind noise but uh, other than road noise not at all so now we're doing a little more 50 and if we give it a little bit of gas 
Yeah, it's got some decent power, but nothing crazy. And this is just me inside. So, and this is actually just a, uh, I wish for, we probably used a little bit of a uh, EcoBoost power. Maybe a turbo engine would give you a little more boost in terms of just a normally aspirated engine. Even though it's an Atkins and Cycle engine, this is not much of a, not much of a powerhouse to be honest. Now, obviously if you were more concerned about fuel efficiency than power, then this is your SUV. I mean, obviously this is getting you 44 miles to the gallon in the city with combined electric and gas power. So it's gonna, it gonna this tank's gonna last you for a while. I mean, if you're uh, very light on your foot and just want to get to eight be comfortably in a nice setting with plenty of amenities you got a nice 8 inch screen you got digital instrumentation nice stereo pretty good session i mean it's actually everything's at your fingertips as you can see guys here so it's really really nice i mean this four skips are really nice and this plug-in hybrid is uh no uh, no exception at all of course when you break here you got some generative braking as you can hear some noises there that some something some power something's going on so and then once you come to a stop here you can just let off your uh, basically your foot off the brake and it automatically will hold. As you can see, there's auto hold there, as you can see. So that's what the little button here is for. So you can just let go of your foot and rest it while you're waiting on the light. And once, once the light goes green, you step on the gas and that will release the auto hold. So really nice, that nice feature. I prefer that than the the stun, the on stun, the basically the shutting of the engine off and on and on. And I prefer this, this instead. Now, of course, being this in the hybrid model, this one basically will not even turn on the engine, just ready to go on electric here. So really nice and smooth. Obviously we get some power on this one here. The engine will come on, but there's not much of acceleration. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, the power on this thing is slow. I mean, this is this is not really fast at all. Uh, was definitely more excited to drive the Toyota RAV4 hybrid. Even the CRV hybrid that I drove had a little more power than this. And But uh, yeah, I mean, it's not, not, not impressed with the, with the powertrain power, at least the initial startup. Uh, I know there's no battery on this at all, but I think the, even the engine itself is not really kicking in a lot. So yeah, this is not, uh, I don't think it's not the best hybrid that I've driven so far. Uh, concerning. Even though this has no battery on it, it might, might feel a little different. It's got some battery on it, but I don't know. It's gotta be the different one, so. Uh, but it does it does drive very smooth. Somebody spun out there. It does drive uh, very smooth, very nice. Uh, the stability is nice. Obviously, you got a bit of a battery, so you have a little more stability here down low. But uh, in terms of uh, you know, let's see how this handles. Uh, it feels pretty nice. I mean, considering it's an escape, escapes always have a little bit of a nice agility. The suspension is set up nice. It's not very soft or bouncy or anything. That's really really nice. Very smooth ride. Uh, really really nice what how this uh ford escape hybrid drives and feels obviously yeah lacking power that's what it is it doesn't have a lot of power but if i'm sure this is gonna have some pretty good fuel efficiency in the long run and if that's what you're looking for this is basically your SUV for you i mean interior wise i'm not crazy about this fox wood uh doesn't look bad i mean considering the color but you know it does have a little bit of accent to the interior uh i'll prefer something maybe like an aluminum or maybe more i'm a tail look to the the wood uh, but it's not bad at all, definitely considering what you're getting for this. Now, obviously, you know, forty-seven thousand dollars is not, you know, chunk change. It's a pretty good price to pay for a for an SUV, especially for this size. But you know, do you have quite a bit of amenities? As, you know, you certainly do. You got all digital screens, nice stereo, you know, sunroof, and of course, from very good gas mileage on this one. And the room, this is a pretty good size, uh, you know, SUV, considering this is still a, you know, mid-size SUV or a smaller compact size SUV, but it's still got plenty right, of guys, nice so we're about to go here, so we're gonna just step on the gas and that automatic hold will go, and let's go ahead and get this going. So, not impressed with the power, initial power of this, this is escape. Now, if we give a little more gas here, I'm basically almost floor to the floor here. Uh, it's got decent power, but yeah, nothing crazy. I mean, definitely, you know, not a turbocharged engine, normally aspirated engine. The 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 power of the electric engine doesn't seem to have a ton of power. I mean, unless the, I know the battery is not fully charged, so that might have some, something to do with it. But uh, but it's not bad. I mean, obviously it, it gets out of its own way. But uh, at initial startup, I'm not super impressed. But I'm sure this has got some more juice. Maybe as long as the battery is recharged, so uh, I will wait. But uh, the braking does feel really nice, very nice and progressive, nice linear feeling brake pedal, nothing weird or anything like that. So let me know what you guys think of this uh, plug-in hybrid. Obviously, these are very popular models nowadays because obviously, you know, of course, of fuel prices, these are very efficient vehicles. You know, obviously 30, 40, 44 miles to the gallon in the city, 37 on the highway, something that's very, really efficient considering a lot of, you know, 
gas prices are still pretty pretty decently high but uh really nice i mean it drives very nice very smooth uh you know very nice suv for the money obviously there might be some better options and there's a lot of competition in this uh once we get a new 2023 ford escape we'll check out how much that differently and of course that also going to be offered in the, in the plug-in model as well so let me know what you guys think of this model i like it i mean it does feel like it's it is missing some power uh, now it could be the battery but obviously that all depends and uh, but you know it's a nice suv overall for forty-seven thousand. let me know what you guys think is if it's kind of high kind of low obviously this is a titanium model which is the upper level of the range so but I, I think even the regular, I mean, not of the SE, and it's obviously just a little bit different materials, but not much of a difference, to be honest, in terms of the interior size. So you can see, guys, here we have the reverse camera. We do have some sensors, you can see, guys, there, and the trajectory lines, and we have front and rear sensors as well. So really, really nice and very nice and crisp graphics to the rear camera. So, uh, but there we go, guys. 2022 Ford Escape Titanium Plug-in Hybrid well, Model. All right, guys, thank very you so nice. very much for watching. Thank you to all that has subscribed. If you guys haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, support the channel. We are on our way to 1,000 subscribers. I really appreciate every one of you. And I uh, hope you guys have a happy holidays. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.